chapter plant life today's topic is vegetative reproduction we also call it vegetative propagation both terms are both terms means the same when a new plant is produced from body of the mother plant or the parent plant this is called vegetative reproduction and the body part from which a new plant is produced it could be a root stem or a leaf it's a very natural process plants keep on reproducing keep on producing you must have seen when we plant grass in the lawn we put only a few plants and within few days our lawn is full of grass how it happens there must be some mechanism there must be something yes they keep on growing in their own this is the nature this way vegetative reproduction is a natural process but it is also one of the very popular and widely used by gardeners and horticulturists to get the plants with desired qualities like what could be the desired qualities the plant which give very juicy fruits that's a desired quality the plant which produces flowers beautiful flowers that's a desired quality plant which produces flowers in less time it's even desired plants with speedy growth it's desired so these are some of the desired features we want in our plants to get the feature we want the same plant to continue to grow so vegetative reproduction is opted by many gardeners to have beautiful plants with desired features which kind of lemons we all want with lots of seeds or with less seeds obviously with less seeds means it's the desired feature and the lemon plant which has very good quality lemons juicy lemons with very less seeds we want that lemon to continue so for that lemon gardeners do this trick they take the stem branch stem and again they grow plants from that stem so new plants are reproduced from root stem or leaves of the parent plant it could be any of these vegetative reproduction through roots means these plants they grow through their roots example some of the common example here we will be discussing all very common examples radish sweet potato dahlia carrot beetroot we all have seen carrot beetroot radish one is that part we use to eat and one is the part we discard at the top that top it has some green part also mean that is the leaf part is there and rest of the part we eat this is root if we plant that part that we cut from the top and put it in the soil it will grow into a new plant same with beetroot carrot and sweet potato and dahlia their roots keep on growing and the new plants start to come out this is sweet potato carrot radish turnip they all grow from their roots vegetative reproduction from stem very common examples of plants which reproduce from stem are rose sugarcane money plant hibiscus potato ginger we all have seen money plant in our garden at our home what we do we take small twig of it and plant it in water and then after few days we transplant it in the pot your gamla and then it grows into a new plant isn't it potatoes are very special they are in everybody's kitchen within few days if they are kept unused they start to have some white structure on it 
from this white structure it starts to turn bit green new plants start to come out those are eyes of the potato like we have eyes potatoes also have eyes but not to see that is new plant grow from their eyes potatoes ginger hibiscus these are common plants that we all know about money plant and this is a beautiful indoor plant in our household isn't it i hope all of you have seen this plant syngonium it's evergreen means it remains green like that it's an indoor plant you just pluck it and plant transplant it to any other plant it will go into new plant means all these plants are growing from their parent plant body part of their parent plant or the mother plant when plants produce more plants that is the meaning of reproduction when more plants are produced this way this is called vegetative reproduction i hope it's very clear to all of you